Hello everyone, this is Brett and thank you for tuning in. This uh, Today's video is going to be highlights from May 2023's Vinyl Finds. I'm a little bit behind schedule. Uh, before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, just recently posted some videos over the last month or so. Uh, did a big feature with my friends Frank and Greg on our favorite 25 albums of 1988. We also ranked um, the Smiths catalog and the Psychedelic First, so I'll leave links if you missed those in the description. Um, yeah, let's get things started. So as I mentioned, these are just going to be some highlights from May, uh, things that I thought would be fun to show. Let's kick things off with Easy Star All-Stars. This is Ziggy Stardub. Uh, my wife Sarah had turned me on to these guys and they've done these kind of tribute albums in reggae dub style. They've done uh, Radiohead's OK Computer, uh, The Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's, which you can see up there, Michael Jackson's Thriller, and then uh, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. So of course, this is for uh, David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust. If you look at the addition of this, it's this wild, swirly mixture of colors. Um, I mean, I'm a huge David Bowie fan, so hearing this is a treat. It has some, uh, some guest vocalists, one of them being Macy Gray, but it's an exact replica of the entire album in the exact running order. So really cool. If you've missed th this, it came out this year in 2023. Really excellent. And that uh, the Beatles one is excellent as well. So Easy Star All Stars. I don't know why that's so hard to pronounce. Ziggy Stardub. Next up, this is the uh, sixth Soul album and the eighth overall, if you include Tube Boy Army, from Gary Newman. This is the Berserker album from 1984. Uh, this was the first album of his that came out uh, after uh, he parted ways with Beggar's Banquet and released on his own label, Numa Records. Um, lots of backing vocals, lots of saxophone, slap and pop bass. Um, Funky guitars, which really remind me of Carlos Alomar's playing on Bowie's, speaking of Bowie's Young Americans album. Um, favorite songs on this one, My Dying Machine, immediately is the number one. And I have to point this out because uh, in addition to my uh, band Audra, I also perform and record in Unto Ashes. Um, been around since the late 90s on Project Records. Pretty Haunted Things, we did a version of My Dying Machine with me on vocals. So I'll leave a link to that to check out as well. Uh, a couple of other favorites, A Child with the Ghost, which was a tribute to uh, Gary Newman's bass player, Paul Gardner, who had passed away um, in 1984. And then the title track, Berserker. So Gary Newman, Berserker from 1984. That was one that I hadn't seen out in a really long time. So it was great to finally add that one to the collection. Next up, this is a new five song covers EP from Ghost, the uh, Swedish heavy metal band. Uh, five songs, all covers. This is on a cool gold. Um, television, See No Evil. Genesis, she, uh, Jesus, He Knows Me. The Stranglers Hanging Around, Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden's Phantom of the Opera. Uh, but my absolute favorite on this one is the Tina Turner song, We Don't Need Another Hero, uh, which was originally on Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. And this was released just five days before Tina Turner passed away. So yeah, another EP of covers from Ghost. Really cool, fun band, and uh, they never disappoint. Next up, I was happy to finally add this to the vinyl collection. This is the fourth album from UK post-punk band Killing Joke. This is 1983's. Fire Dances, it's the first album of Killing Jokes to feature the late Paul Raven on bass after uh, the original player, bass player Youth Departed. Um, and favorite ones on this, The Gathering, uh, Feast of Blaze, and Let's All Go to the Fire Dances. And speaking of Killing Joke, replacing my old Scratch Skippy copy of uh, their 1986 album, the sixth one, Brighter Than a Thousand Suns. Uh, this was a follow-up to 1985's Excellent Nighttime. I really, really enjoy this album. It was produced by Chris Kimsey, so it, it's a little bit more polished. Uh, Kimsey had uh, produced The Stones, Peter Frampton, The Cold, Psychedelic Furs, New Model Army. It has two of my favorite uh, Killing Joke songs on it, Adorations and Sanity, which are both excellent. All right, and last one up. 
this was um, one that I had been on the hunt for, and I and it was one of the greatest five dollar purchases of all time. This is John Fox, The Garden. His uh, second solo album, which came out in 1981, he was the front man for Ultravox. Uh, this is an excellent blend of synths and you know organic instruments like bass, drums, and guitar. Uh, funky at times. Favorite songs on this one, Dancing Like a Gun, is so good. Uh, Systems of Romance, which uh, was originally re uh, written for the Ultravox album, Systems of Romance. They didn't put it on there. They still titled the album that, and then uh, John Fox ended up recording it for this album, and then uh, Night Suit. Uh, I want to just mention this little connection with John Fox here because uh, um, I know I've showed this before, but back in 2000, the label we were on, Project Records, put out this compilation called Orphe, and it collects a whole great list of bands, John Fox, Jansen and Barbieri, who were in uh, Japan, uh, Tones on Tail featuring guys from Bauhaus, The Lemon Rockets, uh, Peter Oler from Dead Can Dance, uh, Christian Death, David Sylvian from Japan, uh, Peter Newton, Michael Brook, um, The Sleeps with Fishes, Peter Newton of Clan of Zymox. Anyways, in the booklet, which the liner notes are written by Neil Gaiman, there is a photo of John Fox there, <laughs> and that's me and my brother. So pretty cool. So, so there's a cool connection with John Fox there. So anyways, The Garden, if you can track down a copy of this, this is just stellar. This got like three spins right when it hit the turntable. Just excellent stuff. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I look forward to reading your comments and interacting. So uh, see you next time. Bye.